guys, welcome to another vlog-ish video, I guess. I just came back from my boyfriend. I had dinner at his place, but he needed to work on his studies. So I came back home and right now, I don't know if you guys can see, it is a quarter to nine. Oh my God, you might be wondering, Sabine, what is that beautiful phone case that you're holding? Well, let me tell you about that because today's sponsor is Berga. Berga is a company that not only makes these gorgeous phone cases, like the one that I showed you in the video, they also have cases for like your MacBook, for your AirPods, which I have right here. This is the one that I chose with a beautiful cloud-ish design on it. They also have like phone rings. They make amazing products for your electronics. So they were super kind and send me over some of their products. So this is, for instance, the MacBook protective case that I chose. But the ones that I especially love the most are their really sturdy and protective phone cases. Not only do their products feature some very aesthetic designs, like I love combining these with my outfits and kind of like switching them up depending on my mood of the day, but they also have as you can see, a super nice and glossy finish. And these cases, like the ones that I have on my phones right now, are their tough cases. So they have a really nice and protective black case. And then you put the very stylish aesthetic other case on top of it. And then your phone looks super nice and is really protected. So if you want to check out Burga's products, a link will be in the description box down below. So definitely check it out. And they have a special offer going on right now that if you buy two of these protective phone cases, you get two for free, which I think is a great deal and they have a ton of designs to choose from. So I definitely think that you will find some that you will like yourself. So again, Berga, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video because it really supports me and my channel. And now let's go on to some reading. And I'm gonna have a nice reading evening for myself. I'm so excited about it. I even got myself a little snack. This is the Netflix and Chill ice cream by Ben and Jerry's. It's peanut butter ice cream with pretzels and brownie bits. It's really delicious, so cheers to that. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna just like show you what I do on a night for myself. Like I said, it's a quarter to nine, so the evening is still young for me. I usually go to bed around like 12, 12.30 ish, and then I usually wake up at 8.30. That's kind of like what my schedule has been for the past couple of weeks, and I am happy with it, so that's nice. So my plans for an evening off like this are usually great. <laughs> which is gonna be the majority of it. Sometimes I watch a series, but I just finished a Queen's Gambit episode with Tim, so I'm not gonna watch anything on Netflix tonight. I do want to prepare some Etsy orders that I still have left. I just recently updated my Etsy shop. If you guys want to support me, get yourself some nice bookmarks, notebooks, whatever. Then you can definitely check out my shop by clicking on the link in the description box down below. Your support means the world to me, but I only have like 15 orders left to fulfill. <laughs> and in this past week, I had 150 orders to prepare by hand and it was insanity. So let's make it a little bit more cozy here and then I'll tell you what I'm currently reading or planning on starting tonight. Okay, so you are standing on top of like my TBR card on some books, so let's hope that this is a good setup. I don't know. I will tell you about what I am currently reading and what I am planning on starting tonight, and it's, it's a daunting book, okay? So my bookmark, this is one of the bookmarks that I designed, by the way, to give you a little bit of like a sneak peek, a preview of what you can expect to find in my Etsy shop, but <laughs> the bookmark fell out of my book, so where did I leave it? So the book that I'm currently reading is Me, My Dad, and the End of the Rainbow. This is a middle grade contemporary about a boy named Archie and his parents haven't been doing great lately. They want to divorce and Archie doesn't really know why his parents are keeping it a secret from him, but then 
Archie finds out something that kind of like completely tears apart, like, how'd you call that? Like turns around his world or I don't know how to phrase that, but it is an LGBTQ story and um, I'm currently on page 227. I believe it's 300 and 30-ish pages and middle grade stories are fairly easy to read but I don't know if I will finish it tonight because then I need to read another 100 pages and I don't know if I'm feeling that because if you didn't know already I'm a mood reader and whilst I was like reading this book I am having a great time by the way but I did have this like nagging feeling of wanting to start a fantasy book again and I am trying to better myself and finish this series that I have actually started so <sighs> I looked at my bookshelves and I was like, which series do I still need to like continue on with or do I need to finish? And then um, this daunting book caught my eye. The Burning God by R.F. Kuang, the third and final book in the Poppy War trilogy, I guess is what you call it. And I mean, look at the size of this book. It's insane. I think I finished The Dragon Republic, which is the sequel to The Poppy War, somewhere in November or maybe mid-December, and I just wasn't ready to pick up the conclusion to the trilogy because everyone has been warning me about how wrecked I will be <laughs> after I finish this book. But if I do decide to pick this one up tonight, I need to do a little bit of like research of what happened again in The Dragon Republic public because I do know like the overall story and kind of like where we will probably like start off with the burning god but all the little details about like certain alliances and betrayals and all the little details I don't really remember that and I feel like I just need a good recap you know if you haven't heard of the Poppy War trilogy before you've been living under a rock especially for the past year I at first did not know about this book and I was not interested in reading about it because it is a high fantasy I believe you would classify it as adult fantasy even so that always like like intimidates the hell out of me <laughs> and it deals a lot with like war and war strategics etc so that was not something that I was like super eager to get into but then I like had to read it for the book club that I co-host together with Leonie and I was like no a book that I did not want to read got chosen then I read it and I loved it. <laughs> Honestly, I think that this was one of my favorite reads of 2020. It was so gripping. It kind of reminded me, had like a little bit of like the same tones as Mulan and Avatar The Last Airbender, especially the first 20 pages, really had those like Atla vibes because Rin, our main character, you could kind of consider her to be like a firebender, but then I'm like not doing the whole story and like the not per se mythology. I don't know really how to phrase it, but I'm not doing it any justice. I feel like if you think the same way of adult fantasy like I do, intimidated to the max, <laughs> then you will probably like the Poppy War actually because I loved it. I loved it so much. I definitely enjoyed Dragon Republic. So many people said that this one was even better than the Poppy War, but I disagree. I think the Poppy War was better. But then again, maybe I also really liked those training private school sessions and you don't really have those in the Dragon Republic, but just like the world and the ruthlessness of the characters. This is definitely a series that will just like rip your heart right out of your chest and not many books do it the same way as this trilogy does. Like I said, I'm scared to pick up the third and final book. I know that some of my booktube friends told me that I need to have my tissues prepared with me. I don't have those, so we shall see how I'll do without. But this one is over 600 pages. I'll better just like start eating my ice cream and read a little bit of this fluffy middle grade, I just hit myself with a book, middle grade LGBTQ contemporary story because I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, so I read up until page 275. So that is about, yeah, a little over 40 pages. And right now it is 10.20 p.m. I think I'm gonna make myself a nice cup of tea and then do some like little research again on the Dragon Republic.
And as per usual, I've been sitting on TikTok for 45 minutes. Oh my god, that app. If you haven't downloaded it yet, like, don't do it. It's really addicting. <laughs> so it is actually midnight right now, and I have read a Dragon Republic full recap. So now I am reminded of all of the intense things that happened in the Dragon Republic. I'm trying to save my Premiere Pro that I was editing today. I love reading in the evening. It's one of my favorite things to do. It makes me really sleepy. I do not understand how some people can be like, I was awake the whole night because I was reading. When it's 12 o'clock midnight and I read a book, my eyes just automatically close and I'm sleepy as fuck. <laughs> so how people do that, I have no clue, but I'm gonna like read a little bit until I am really tired, which is probably gonna be soon. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to bed and I hope that this was somewhat of a fun video. I don't know. <laughs> Okay guys, I read like eight pages of The Burning God and I was already kind of confused like oh my god who is this character again and who is this? But it is 12.30 right now, which I think is a good time to go to bed. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or in the button down below. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next time. And I'm... I'm gonna go to bed right now. Good night.